Professor Akram here, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to share and upload your web build of your game to the itch.io platform. A great way to highlight your game and to share it with others is to upload it to various sites that allow you to either distribute your game for free or to uh, allow people to purchase your game as an indie developer. One site that is really good is itch.io. You can set up a free account and you can set it up so people can pay to play or that they can just play for free. And I'm gonna show you how to upload your Unity project to itch. So I have a logged in here to my itch account and up at the very top I can upload a new project. So on the profile link here I can do upload new project. It's going to ask me for the name of my project so I'm just going to say uh, sample game for this example. And you'll notice that it will give me my itch URL slash whatever I've named the game. So again, you want to be kind of descriptive. If you have a really great game title, you want to use that title. I can create some cover art for the game. I'm just going to select from one of my sprites that I have. I'll just use the planet here. So it's just going to be a simple image, nothing fancy. I can add a tagline for the game. I could specify what I am uploading, whether it is a game, whether it's assets, whether it's a physical game. You can upload a variety of different things to itch. I'm going to be doing a game. And then how are you uploading this game? You will see that there's a variety of different options. We are actually going to be uploading an HTML project. Um, there is a Unity down here, but this is for Unity 5.3 and older. We want the HTML option. Then down here, we can choose whether we want to donate donations, we want it pay, people to pay to play, or whether we want no payments. This is going to be a no payments. And then it's going to ask us to upload the game. And what I need to do is I need to go back to my project and go back to those build settings and I need to zip this entire folder. Now I don't want to zip the builds folder itself. Windows sometimes creates a folder inside of a folder when it's unzipped. So to ensure that doesn't happen I'm actually going to click on the builds folder. I'm going to select the index file and I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to make sure that I select the build folder and the template data folder. And then I'm going to, once I get all those selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to tell it to send to a compressed zip folder. And I'm going to name that folder, in my case, a sample game dash webgl because that's the version of this game. So in my uploads over on itch, I'm going to do uploads file and I'm going to find the builds folder and it's that zip file that I want. I want the file to be played in the browser, so I'm going to check that item. And then over here, this is very important because this is telling you the scale of how the game is going to be played. And I want it to launch in full screen so it takes over the entire screen. You have some options whether it's mobile friendly or not. My game is designed at uh, HD, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it just to play in full screen mode. I can specify some details about the game. Uh, sample game made for tutorial. I can specify a game genre. This is a platformer game. I can add tags to the game such as this is a 2D game. Um, platformer, action, space, robots, and I can continue on and on. If I scroll down some more you will see this is the most important thing right here. So this allows me to save this project as a draft. 
a restricted project so only certain people with the link can see it or public now this is important because if you select public there is a two part to this I cannot choose public unless I save the project first so notice it says draft so I've got to save the project view it it's going to come up here so I'm viewing it and I can run the game if I wanted to it's going to pop up here I'm going to hit back because I want to go back to this scene so now that I've got this done I'm going to go back to my draft and now you can see that I can select public for everyone and I'm going to hit save once it's saved I can now view this page and you can see the information I've got my little description here I've got my game it says you've recently updated this page do you want to notify your followers you can do that I'm going to dismiss this go back to my dashboard and you can see that I have my published game right here another thing that you will be able to do is if I go to my profile page it'll show up on my profile page the best way to check to see if your game is actually live and people can actually play it is to actually log out of itch so if I log out so I'm no longer in itch and if I go to my URL, so I am on my profile page, but I'm not logged in. In fact, it doesn't give me the little menu. It tells me that I can actually follow myself because it's assuming that I'm a third party. And you can see that the game is listed on my profile. If I click on it, you can see that from this page, I can actually go ahead and run the game. So we know that the game is published. And if you want to share your game with others, you can direct them directly to your profile page on Itch. Or if you just want them to play this specific game, you can click on the game, go up to the URL, and it should be your profile link slash whatever you've named that project. And that is how to get your game live on itch.io. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And don't forget to check out our other tutorials on the channel. What are you waiting for? Get creative today!